welcome back so today I decided that we need to do something fun it's been so rainy and gloomy here lately and I've barely left my house this past week so I want to do something fun and exciting so I'm gonna go houseplant shopping I haven't visited um, the big box stores around me lately so I think I'm gonna do that I'm definitely going to hit up a Lowe's and a Home Depot, and then I might go to an Ace Hardware as well, depending on what I find. The Ace Hardware is across town, and I don't know if I want to drive that far today, but definitely a Lowe's and a Home Depot. I definitely, I also have a mission for today. I really need to find a trailing plant, uh, preferably either a Golden Pothos or a Marble Queen, but it needs to be already trailing. And then I also want to find a couple really small, like, basic house plants, like, either a couple four-inch pots of a golden pothos or, you know, like, a Brazil, something like that. And they're all going to be for upcoming videos, so I'm really excited about that. I've never really vlogged in public before, and I upgraded my setting, so I think I talked about it in my last video, but now I have, like... A real full-fledged camera with like a mic and everything and people I've already walked past me in this parking lot and I'm already like blushing um, definitely getting looks so we'll see how that goes so right now I'm sitting outside of Lowe's and the big box stores around me here are kind of hit or miss so if you like go on the internet and you like see all these stories about people finding like variegated Hindu ropes or whatever at grocery stores or their Lowe's um, it's usually from a supplier called Costa Farms they're one of the major plant suppliers here in the US but because California has really strict agriculture laws, Costa Farm actually doesn't sell plants in California. So I'm not expecting to find unicorns, but all the plants I need to find are like very basic common house plants. So hopefully I at least get those. Um, I'm not planning on getting a Christmas tree. Oh, this guy is about to drive right past me. That's awkward. Okay. Um, also I want to look at Christmas trees. I'm not really planning on getting a Christmas tree, but I want to look. Okay, um, I've definitely rambled too much, so let's go inside the store. Okay, so we're in the houseplant section. The first thing I see when I walk in is this alocasia, and then a ZZ plant. These are pretty typical. I think these are peace lilies. Wow, this is a giant monstera. Whoa. How much is this monstera? It is $36.98. That's a really big monstera. Wow, it's crazy. And then, ooh, these are philodendrons already on totems. Let's see how much they are. $36.98. Not really what I'm looking for. Oh look, this is a variegated peace lily. I think this is the domino variety. Um, I have a peace lily that I like, but I'm looking for either the Jessica variety or the Picasso. And like the Picasso one, it's kind of sectorial. And then the Jessica is kind of like more white than green. What is this? This is a dumb cane. No, this is a... Oh, this is a peace lily. Will that focus? Okay, that doesn't want to focus, but apparently this is a peace lily called a... Wasili? I've never heard of it before. It's $14.98. The other variegated peace lily was $14.98 too. Okay, I'm back. I changed my camera setting so that hopefully it's easier to be in focus now. And then this is a fern. Ooh, it's kind of dying, but that's expected of Lowe's, right? And then a Calathea medallion with a lot of crispy edges. Those are $22.98. And then a bunch of ivies. And creeping figs. Okay, let's go around this side. Another Kalitha medallion. It's big. It's 
same thing on this side. Oh, okay. I think this is what I'm looking for. This is a golden puzzles. I think this is a six inch pot. This is $8.98. Okay. It's definitely starting to trail. Oh, this one's pretty long. Maybe this might be the one that's coming home with me. Okay. Let's look around and see what else they have first. This is a snake plant. Dracaenas. The Dracaenas. Let's see how much they are. They are $3.48. Is there a specific kind? Mm, it doesn't say what kind of Dracaena they are. And I'm not that familiar with Dracaena, so I'm not sure. Some variegated ivy up here. Let's see what else they have. <gasps> Ooh, these are Pearl and Jade. So, um, Pearl and Jade is actually a copyrighted name. So these are not sold here as Pearl and Jade. They're sold as Mini Marble Queens, which they are not. But let's see how much they are. They are $348. These might be the ones I use for my upcoming video. That's a dumb cane down there and some ZZ plants. Ooh, these are Shafleras, umbrella plants. So many of them. Let's see how much they are. $348. That's a really good price for Shaflera. They're cute. And then these are, oh, Homo. Oh, this is a Peacely, but this is not a Peacely. Okay, this is a Homolomina emerald gem apparently Let's see how much you are 7.98 i feel like these are underrated some lipstick plants more lipstick plants Let's see how much this lipstick plant is 14.98 let's see how much the black one is also 14.98 some ponytail palms. Oh, these are more palms. These are cute. They're so tiny. <gasps> what is this? That just means heart shaped philodendron, right? I'm not good with, with botanical names, but I'm pretty sure this is just a heart shaped philodendron. These might also work for my experiment. Oh, this is a super long neon pothos, $14.98. And then this is a Brazil. This is a really pretty Brazil. Maybe I should do Brazils instead of marble cream pothos. Some succulents. More calathea medallions. These are curtains. Let's see how much the curtains are. They're usually not that expensive here. I don't see a price tag. Let's see the price tag on this one. Three forty-eight. More curtains up here. Oh look, this is a pearl and jade. That's vining. Ooh, this is an 8 inch pot, so I think it's $14.98, and then look, there's some Addisonii's up here. I hope that's focusing. This is so far above my head that I can't even tell. So this is a gold dust cone. My brother has one of these. This is a money tree, $12.98. Looks really healthy. We almost killed our money tree. <laughs> oh, look, this is a goldfish plant that's blooming. Can you see that? Is that in focus? Why am I so short? $14.98 for a goldfish plant that's blooming? That's so cool. I have never felt more short than me trying to film that right now. <gasps> Is this a silvery Anne? 
skin depth. Ugh, this is not our Marble Queen Pothos. This tag literally says Marble Queen Pothos. But is this a silvery Anne? Oh, I don't know how to tell the t different kind of skin adaptus apart yet. But this is $8.98. Some Rubber Tree Taniki. $11.98. The non variated kind is also the same price. So there's a fiddle leaf fig down here that's dead AF. Also $11.98. Oh look, there's so many pearl and jade ones on this side. These big kinds of peace lilies are so pretty. I think my peace lily at home is a different variety. Let's see just on this. $11.98. And then, ooh, prayer plants. Let's see which this is. $3.48. Some just scantias. Seven ninety eight. Isn't that expensive? <gasps> Peperomia Russo, I think. Is that what it's called with the red backs? Eleven ninety eight for six inch pot. Okay, let's go back up here. These are Hartley philodendrons. Might pick up one of these for eight ninety eight. Oh, look at this one. Look at how close. That's crazy. Okay. Some more money trees. Okay, I'm outside now. Look at how huge these monsters are. That's insane. Do I have space for you? I definitely do not have space for this, but I hope like it's like busting out of its pot. I think this was 50 bucks. I can't find a price tag, but I think I saw it earlier and it was 50 bucks. Okay, so now I am outside of Home Depot. As you can see, it is super dreary and gloomy. It also rained on the way here. So I'm gonna get my butt inside before it starts raining again. Okay, let's hope that's in focus. So I didn't get any clips. And I didn't get any clips because that was the saddest selection of houseplants I've ever seen and um i would have totally taken a clip to just show you how sad the houseplants were but their houseplant section they moved it because i guess nobody's buying houseplants in december so they moved it right next to where customer services and there were like 10 employees just like standing there and um i couldn't smack talk their houseplants while 10 employees stood there helping other customers so I didn't get any clips uh, but trust me the only thing I had that was semi-healthy were placentas and you know what those look like we're not interested in those there were some six inch um marble no six inch golden pothos for um 10.98 but they literally like all of them looked half dead and i don't even know how you kill a pothos that's ridiculous um the sun came out though so that's good the only thing i bought at home depot was command hooks you can guess what those are for and then i'm gonna i don't know if i should go to ace hardware I guess I'll keep you updated. I'm gonna think about it. I need to pull out because it's getting crowded here and people are looking at me. So I'm gonna pull out and then I'll decide on the way if I'm gonna go to Ace Hardware or not. I'll keep you updated. Okay, so we are outside of Ace Hardware. I decided to make the drive after all because Home Depot was so disappointing. So this is across town and I've never really been into this part of town by myself. Um, and so this hardware store is a lot smaller than I anticipated. 
so I think I'm gonna have to be discreet in filming so we'll see what kind of clips um, I get and I hope that they're good the story is behind me can you see it it's tiny it's literally that small all right let's see what I got myself into okay so that was like the biggest fail of my life um the store is literally like the size of my kitchen it was tiny there were three employees no customers so like every single employee came up to me was and was like hi can i help you um and then i very very quickly realized that there's no houseplant section i don't know why i was under the impression that there was one but there definitely is not one and also um the reason why I wanted to come to Ace in the first place is that they're the only place locally that stocks um, black gold soil and that's the soil that you know all the plant youtubers use and swears by so I wanted to try it but they don't have it um, okay hold on I need to figure out where I'm going Um, so I'm gonna do a haul of what I got at Lowe's. So basically, I got this Skindapsis. I think it's a Silvery Ann, but I honestly don't know, but I didn't want to regret not getting it in case it was a Silvery Ann. And either way, I think it's really pretty. So I got it. Um, the label is not useful at all. The label literally says Pothos Marble Queen, which I for sure know it's not. Hi, so this is me from later jumping in to let you know that I have referred to this handy dandy graphic that Gabriella Plants made and um, I think that the plant I bought is a Scandapsis Exotica which um, definitely not a Silvery Ann because the Silvery Ann from this photo looks like it's about the size of the Argarias. Oh my god, how do I say that? Argarite. Tell me how to say it in the comments below, please. But yeah, I think this is an Exotica because it definitely doesn't look like a silver sand. So I think that's what it is. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the description. So I'm really excited about that. And then the other thing I got was um, three tiny three-inch golden pothos. And these are going to be for an upcoming video. You can guess below in the comments what that video is going to be. Um, there were only three left. I wanted four, but there were only three left. And they were $1.98 each. So I decided just to go with three. Maybe I'll go back another time to see if there's like a fourth one I can find. Because um, I didn't pick up that trailing pothos that I pointed out in the clip. I didn't pick it up and I kind of regretted it. Because I thought I was, um, I thought I would be able to find something at Home Depot, and I couldn't. Oh, but this was pretty. So, the trip was worth it. Um, I feel like such a dummy driving all the way to the other side of town, and for there to not be a houseplant section at all. And she said that they're not even restocking the potting soil until spring. So, I don't know, I probably should have checked online first. I don't know, I just assumed, because like, they sold potting soil and like, I don't know. I don't know, okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope it was fun for you. I'm gonna go put my plants away now. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow, bye. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so dumb.
Oh my god, I had all of these clips on manual focus. I hope anything was in focus. I just figured out how to turn it on to autofocus. I can't believe I did that. Oh, 